of these women that are incarcerated, they've come from dysfunctional families where drug abuse and sexual abuse was rampant. But Tulsa Mayor Dewey Bartlett says the cycle of incarceration doesn't have to continue. Today he announced a 24% decrease in the number of women put in prison. He also pointed to plans being developed by his commission on the status of women to help break the cycle. I serve on that commission. Now, currently Oklahoma does still put away more women than any other state. Two Works U reporter Katie Wisely shows us how one former inmate is doing her part to stem the tide. Karen, Oklahoma has two times the national average for women locked up. City officials say that's unacceptable, so they're taking steps to keep women out of jail. A coffee shop in Claremore is doing its part, giving former inmates a chance to make a new start. As soon as you walk into She Brews, you can tell it's not an ordinary coffee shop. It even says so on the door. I started using methamphetamines when I was 18. Um, that led me into my first incarceration. Michelle Wise keeps her rap sheet out in plain sight. My addiction continued on for another 15 years, resulting in three different incarcerations. There you go. Before brewing and serving coffee in Claremore, Wise and six of her co-workers were serving time. That's where she says she got tricked into Rhonda Bear's class, Women in Transition. But she says it's the best trick she's ever fallen for. Without the tricks and the lies that that God wouldn't have been able to work in me like he has. Rhonda Bears created the coffee shop with the intent to hire women who had trouble finding a job after getting out of prison. She's a former inmate herself and someone helped her get a fresh start. Now she's paying it forward. We share a strong sense of hope in this place. Providing hope after prison, studies show it's one way to keep women from going back. If we can't keep them out of prison, then let's don't give them excessive sentencing, which is really what's breaking the state. Wise now back in school, running away from a prison cell, running toward a brighter future, focused on her faith. Katie Wisely, Two Works for You.